I wanted to give you a bird's eye view of the area that we're exploring around Beale Air Force Base in these videos. I think these rolling hills and grasslands are not the first thing that come to many people's minds when they think of gold rich areas. However, during the gold rush, an ounce a day by an individual miner was considered barely adequate in this region. Anything less than that wasn't even worth bothering with by the standards of the time. We are now out at the Good Hope mine and uh, the main features of the base are just over that hill there. And the uh, Good Hope mine is arrayed here in front of us. Uh, two shafts here. Uh, I'm at a smaller sort of intermediate shaft here. Um, I don't know if you've seen the light, there's a little hole down the bottom, but just past that it's caved. So, uh, no, uh, no use in going down there. The uh, larger main shaft is just over here. Oh, and in case you hadn't noticed, I've been reunited with a stabilizer. So, uh, hopefully you get it. Hopefully you can see the difference. Um, some sort of head frame. These are the remains of uh, the head frame that was here. And, uh, you know, you would think that was a hoist house, but it's not really... Uh, in the right position for that. I'm not sure what those, uh, you know, those openings in the front where you'd expect to see the cable coming out, but it's not the case. So, I'm not really sure. Uh, here's looking down this one. Let me uh, get over the fence here. I'll get a better look at it. All right, there is looking down the shaft. Uh, I don't know if you can see on the camera because the light's no good but I will uh, zoom in here hopefully you guys can see something if you toss a rock down there it's, uh, it's flooded unfortunately but uh, I just want to show you the site more than anything else uh, interesting story with this one, there was a fatality here, which caused the closure of the mine. The mine director, I don't know how it happened, and the history is not clear of how it happened, but the mine director fell down the shaft here and was killed. And uh, after that, that was it for the mine. It was shut down and uh, abandoned for a long time. The uh, book suggests that maybe a little work happened after quite a while, but you know, the heyday of the mine was over after that fatality. That was it. So, uh, we'll take a look at some of the buildings over here for you. But, uh, that's pretty much all that's left of the, uh, the shafts that were here. And, uh, I'll tell you more about the history of this mine in the description below the video if you want to check that out. I'll give you some good details in there. Alright, that's the shaft you're just checking out. There's the waste rock pile. Better view of it there. There's a building that was crushed by the tree there. We'll go look at that in a minute. Just wanted to show you this building now. And uh, like I said, to me, I would say it was a hoist house, but the location doesn't match up to uh, where it should be. As you can see, it's been shot to hell. There's looking out the window or whatever the space is over to the shaft. Uh, there's a look inside the building. It's almost like they have like a, a message board or something right there. Uh, another window right there. But yeah, it's, uh, it's been really shot to hell with shotguns. Um, interesting to note on the ground here, you can see uh, the remains of a bunch of core samples all over the place. Core samples in here. All right, that's the building we're just checking out, and the shaft and waste rock pile is there, and this is that uh, other building I referenced. And uh, you can see it took a beating from this branch that came down from this large valley oak here. 
and uh, that was it for the building when that happened but we'll go look inside all the same just want to show you the extent of the damage out here so I was just standing over there a moment ago this is the uh, inside of this building here and this wasn't a large operation and so we're thinking that the family that worked this mine lived here because you can see the remains of a uh, cook stove right there and uh, it'd be about the right size for a, a modest family mining operation here again I'll put uh, names and things like that in the description and more detail on the uh, the Good Hope mine here in the description below the video you can see the remains of a swallow's nest right there. It looks like a water line coming in up out of the ground there. Oh, he was saying if you didn't hear it, it looks like there's a water line coming in up into the ha uh, cabin here from over there. It also uh, seems like the kind of place they'd live just because they've got all these valley oaks here. They're pretty nice. Would have been a good place for uh, living quarters. Uh, yeah, I see a lot of stuff coming out here. You'd have had some nice shade here and uh, pretty spot, obviously. So, would not have been a bad choice. So, I think we're right about that. And I think that pretty much wraps up the, uh, the Good Hope. The Good Hope mine we just checked out is on the other side of this hill here. Now we're headed over to the Golden West mine which is on the top of that hill there, and then the Air Force Base main facility and all the, the uh, flight line and all that stuff is over the hill there. This is the Albion Ravine, and in, during the time of the gold rush, there were literally hundreds of miners that were working this uh, ravine here, and all those little mounds in the distance there, that was all created by the miners during the gold rush that were diverting the creek down here to uh, get out the gold and uh, if I remember correctly in the book uh, if a claim was worth working it came up with an ounce a day if it was less than an ounce a day uh, it was left for the Chinese so I don't know about you guys but I wouldn't mind pulling an ounce a day out if you know I, I think I could probably scrape by on an ounce a day so that's what all this uh, disturbed earth here is hundreds of miners are working through here We're crossing over that ravine now, and uh, you, again, you can probably better see all the piles and such right here. That is actually one right here in front of us where they just pulled it out and stacked to the side. And uh, this whole landscape is just completely uh, marked with piles like that all through here. Pretty interesting. So in front of us here, you've got what looks like a waste rock pile. The only problem is that there's nothing behind it. No adit, no shaft. And so we're thinking that these might actually be tailings and that uh, there was some kind of milling that was taking place here. Of course, the rock is uh, more large. It's not quite as large as you would expect for waste rock, but uh, it's not fine and powdery the way it normally looks after a mill uh, has gotten to it. So maybe, you know, they're using some primitive early milling. We're not sure, but literally there is nothing behind this at all. So confusing. That's a big oak tree coming out the top of it too. So uh, that would suggest that these are old, old workings back from like gold rush time. This is the top of that pile we are showing you from below. And uh, just to prove to you, what I was saying about nothing being back here this is what's up top so uh, you know unless the military uh, bulldozed this shut a long long time ago there's no sign of anything having been here and those are older oak trees too uh, so obviously this ground has not been disturbed too much so who knows I'm curious just a quick overflight of the mine that we're headed to I always think it's interesting to get a perspective from above first if possible, so here you are. All right, I am standing on the Golden West waste rock pile here. 
the adit is right there. I'll show you in a minute. Just one quick thing. The hill up here is completely covered in broken up bits of quartz. There's little dugouts and depressions all over the place. And so it seems fairly obvious the uh, placer miners working the Albion Ravine down there started doing test pans and uh, with good results. Started working their way up the hill and uh, we've been digging out quartz pockets and things like that the whole way uh, based on positive results from the test pans. And of course, ultimately, that would lead them to something like this. And uh, you have a punch underground here. Again, this is another one where I'll put the history in the description below the video. They're coming up on the Golden West at it. And you can see it's actually open. That's not the issue here. Uh, I'm a little hesitant to go in because my friend Jake went in there a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago. And uh, there's a skunk living in there. And if there's one thing I really wouldn't want to get blasted with in a confined space underground, it would be the intense spray of a skunk. So, a little uh, apprehensive about this one. I'll, uh, I'll drop in the portal and kind of take a look around for you. And uh, hopefully Mr. Skunk will be in a good mood. See a game trail right here? Yeah, he was just saying, you can see the little game trail running down right there. And the little trail going right into the attic where Mr. Skunk lives. All right, down in the attic here. And uh, smells very strongly of animal urine here. So uh, I believe Mr. Skunk is still in residence. Uh, he hangs out back there. So, uh, oh man, I really, I'd actually rather run into a rattlesnake underground here than a skunk, to be honest with you. Um, I'm gonna start very carefully making my way up there, and uh, well, you may get a good laugh out of this. All right, I'm moving ahead. Now that collapse right there that you see, uh, it actually mentions that in the history book we have. And uh, that's been caved for over a hundred years, actually. Um, it's not a new cave-in, and you can't go beyond that, even if the skunk wasn't there. That's that's it for that. Um, you're back there laughing at me, aren't you? Yeah, I'm just waiting at the portal. Yeah, bastard. Um, okay, so there's that, like, the main section. Something interesting here, you've got that little mini... Uh, now we like a little mini drift running up that way, a little mini raise, a little mini drift, whatever you want to call it, heading up that way. Uh, and it, it's hard to tell how far it goes, uh, especially when you're apprehensive about a skunk coming birching out from down there. Interesting uh, mineralization in here. Did you guys see any sign of a quartz vein when you were in here? Uh, yes, we did see a little bit of a vein somewhere. Huh. A couple frogs. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, there's some quartz down there. There's some quartz. So not too much of a vein, but they probably cleared the vein out here. That's probably where we're not seeing it. Here's a little nest right here. You walked by. Oh, okay. Somebody's nest. So the skunk lives just in there. I'm sorry you didn't get that on on your video. Yeah. I, uh, I think this is good enough for me. I think I'm good. I can see uh, where the cave-in ends right there. And... Uh, we need to go up. Yeah, uh, there is up. But uh, it looks like it just stops right there. Yeah, but there could be treasure up there. Yeah, there could be treasure up there. You want to volunteer to go up there? I really want to. You confirm the skunk's gone and I'll go up there. Oh man, that's a... Also, there's animal bones on the ground here, too. There was more than that when I was here. Oh man. Alright. Well, I might run you over on the way out. There's... Actually, I think he was a little further up near that pile. He's either right there or up there. If he's up there, cool, we can ignore him and get up in here. There's probably a bobcat or something else. Okay. 
He's not there. Confirmed. Confirmed. He's not oh. there. I wouldn't lie to you, man. Yeah, it's his little den. I wouldn't set you up like that. I really want to, like, just know that he's gone or not. <laughs> the joke may be on you on this one, man. True. Like he's up there. <laughs> yeah, I don't see him up there, though. Got good footholds if you want to. Yeah, have to give me ten fingers. There's a carbide graffiti up here. Are you serious? Yeah. Can you tell what it says? No, I see the letter five. No shit, that's awesome. A um, bunch of it. I can't read any of it. All right, so the deal was I confirmed that <laughs> the skunk was farther back there. And so in exchange for that, buddy Jake squirmed up in this upper section. A terrifying spider above my head. Which is pretty tight squeeze, and you said there's some carbide graffiti above you? Yeah, but it's too... The only thing I could read definitely was the number five, and I think it was a four letter, a four number year. Ah. Uh, so, 15, 25, 30, who knows. Yeah, interesting. But judging from what we know, um, these mines were all, they're all late 1800s to early 1900s. Actually, almost everything we read was saying like 1850s to 70s to 80s. So... I'm going to squeeze up as far as I can without cutting up my elbows. That sounds good. And uh, hopefully the skunk doesn't come out. Well, he's making his way up there. I just wanted to uh, show you some quartz that's in here. You see that vein right there? That's the kind of thing they would have been chasing here. This is actually a decent sized operation beyond that cave in, so the uh, quartz must have assayed out fairly well. He's getting back there. Ah, oh, god damn it! Oh man. <laughs> man, that would have gotten me. Uh, just slammed into me. Oh, it actually hit you? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Is there a stope back there, or what, what's back there? Drops down into that collapse. Ah. Uh, can you get past it? Yeah, I'm trying to scare out all the other freaking wild animals. <laughs> Alright, he's back down. What did you see up there? Okay, it's tight squeeze. Smells like urine. Uh, almost to the end, a bat flew out, slammed into my chest. I actually got that on camera, fortunately. <laughs> and then flew over my head, and at least that was the only one. And uh, it opens up, it gets tinier, and it opens up into what? you think was a stove, but then you realize, no, it's just a big collapse. The rock gets a little different, um, and pieces of it fell off the ceiling, and it meets up with that collapse. Oh, okay. So I think that this went through and through. On both, on the top and bottom? Yeah, um, because I was on the top of this collapse, and you could see just over the collapse where you could go another, well, a small child could go another five feet, and then it's fully choked up. Ah. Uh, so. All right, interesting. I wonder why they created that upper one. Yeah. Was they're chasing like a little veinlet or something they ran forked and they just didn't feel like tearing this out. But yeah. Uh, hard to say. It was weird knowing that it's airspace below you like that. With the skunk in it? Well yeah, with the skunk in it, yeah. <laughs> I was worried that he'd come out and chase you and I'd be back there. Yeah, I was I was yeah, that scenario ran through my head as well. I hope he doesn't know I'm here. <laughs> uh, that was that was a fun little hands in me squeeze. Yeah, it is uh down right there. And I've come up a little ways show you these quartz boulders here but uh more so i want to show you this uh caved in section in the ground right here because this is where the mine is caved in this is uh what it looks like on the surface this depression right here so it's pretty interesting to be able to see you know correlate that directly to uh where we are facing problems pulling back from the mine now you gotta love that poison oak there. There isn't poison oak anywhere else around, and yeah, it was clutched all around the portal there. So of course we had to go through it to get in. Like I always say, the joys of mine exploring. That's the adit down there, and I'm pulling back because I want to show you where the mine is in relation to the Albion Ravine, which is coming up now at that point on the horizon. That's the Albion Ravine down there, where the miners were pulling out their minimum of one ounce per day. And I thought it was interesting because it's so easy to imagine 
the miners following their test pans up the hills and locating mines like the one we just explored.